Hi, this is Dr. Gary, and welcome to our daily tune-up today. I have a question for you. Have you ever said something to someone, and you had really good intentions, and it kind of irritated them, or they did not understand it at all? Well, that's kind of normal. In our world, we have six billion people on this planet right now, and here's a scary thought. Do you realize every word you say means something different to every one of them? It has a different meaning. It can be similar, but it's still different. It creates different feelings. It creates different complex equivalencies or mixed feelings. So our challenge in communicating our intention lies within two presuppositions in the science of neurolinguistic programming. One is the map is not the territory, meaning what you see on the surface of someone is not necessarily what's going on inside of them. And the second presupposition is the meaning of any communication is the response you get from it. Most of us go into a communication thinking we've said something and that's it. Now, if they don't understand it, they're a bunch of idiots. That's not true. They're understanding it the best they can built upon their map of reality and their presuppositions of what those words mean as well. The best way to deliver your intentions is to, first of all, care that they get delivered. Slow down and deliver the intention first. My intention in telling you this is because I care about you and I want you to succeed rather than just saying, I think you can clean up your speech a lot. Those intentions are not going to be delivered that way. So what you want to learn to do, and you can do today, starting right now, your challenge is to listen to your own intentions and what they mean to you, and how can you convey that to someone else so they really get it. Some people just say something, and then if it doesn't work, they get mad and they stomp out of the room. What I want you to learn how to do is to really, really stay in the game, stay in the conversation until your intentions are delivered. And you're going to find when you do that, people are going to be more respectful to you, and you're going to feel better about yourself and them. Your challenge today is challenge yourself to be an excellent communicator. Slow down. Speak your words. Because remember, Every one of those words means something different to that person you're talking to. Even if you think you know them really well, it's still different. Until tomorrow, deliver those intentions and have a great time doing it. And remember, you can do this. It's just communicating. Bye.